Hey guys, Alex here. Happy Halloween. Today is Sunday, October 31st. It's after 4 or 5 p.m. And I'm here on Kingston Road at Gilwood Go Station here in the Scarborough Borough. I just got off the Lakeshore East Line. Took it one stop from Eglinton Station. And uh, I'm exploring Scarborough for the day, or at least, uh, at least for a few hours. So I'm here on Kingston Road walking northeast. I think I'm going to end this at uh, Morningside and uh, Lawrence. Just a very quick ride on the train. And hopefully this video won't take too long. It's not, it's not that far, so... Uh, just why not get a video? Because I don't come out here very often at all. And once again, I'm meeting the uh, Rapatio Priority Bus Lanes. I did a walking video on Eglinton Avenue East an hour ago way to the uh, go station and I think I'm gonna grab some food because at the there used to be a shopping mall up there called Morningside Crossing very old school since it's, been, since it's been gone and there's a lot of faster restaurants over there I think I'll try McDonald's I have plans to come up here for a while because it's kind of interesting here too there's, there's other parts of Kingston Road I could uh, cover as well. Let's uh, we'll see about that. Man, I am uh, I am far from home. You know, I am still in city limits. But as you guys probably know, east of the city of Toronto is the region of Durham, which includes Pickering, Ajax, and Whitby, then Oshawa. And of course, the reason why these rapid TO party lanes are here is because this is one of the busiest transit corridors for buses here in the city. So last year they implemented these lanes and uh, it goes between Kennedy Station and the University of Toronto Scarborough campus. Here's Paysac Avenue. It is such a beautiful day today here in Toronto, Ontario. As you guys know, already know the uh, capital of Ontario and largest city in Canada. Since it's not really too late, if I do a video then I'll take the 905 bus to uh, Kennedy Station and then go straight home from there. I think it, the next lights is Galloway Road, if I'm not mistaken. Should be Galloway. There's a housing complex here. And a fun fact Kingston Road is dotted with so much motels. It's because before the 401 even existed, this was the way out of Toronto. It used to be called Highway 2. I think it still is. In uh, regional spots. But this is literally the main highway across southern Ontario. I think the 4 one opened up in the 1950s. And I think I can see the lights up at, in the distance at uh, Morningside and Lawrence Avenue East. Never really been here before. I can't remember if I just said it, but there's Galloway Road, the lights. 
I think that'll take you down to uh, Guildwood Parkway at the uh, edge of Lake Ontario. Yeah, south of here is the Guildwood area, almost a Guildwood and a park. And uh, I think I'll cross here at, uh, at Galloway because where I want to go should be on the north side of Kingston Road. So we will, or I will cross here. And if you're from Toronto or you live around here or you used to, this tree is very infamous. on the last day of October. Tomorrow will be November. It's two months left until the end of the year. How crazy is that? And my mom used to live along Kingston Road in the uh, Richcliffe neighborhood. Yeah, there's more interesting stuff on the north side. Just stuff right here is just some townhouses and typical houses you would find out here. Oh, this will be a long wait. Native Child and Family Services of Toronto. And there's Lawrence Avenue East up there. Not really an interesting street for me to cover. You know something guys? You know as much as I love riding the, the TTC and going downtown, this is what I love to do, right? doesn't matter if the area is boring or not. I'm a boring race Torontonian. And I definitely like to get some content out in all corners of the city. We are the largest city in Canada, of course. And, you know, just documenting things. Oh, so that's why, so that's why um, there's a, uh, that's here. This is for all the indigenous kids. And I, and I think that explains the, uh, the paintings of the natives as well. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm not sure if this is in, uh, this has, this area has an indigenous population. If you, if you can, let me know in the comments. Correct me if I'm wrong. But, uh, yeah. It is here. And, uh, there's a safe Toronto bill. I can't read that sign from here. It says Children's Services. Galloway Early Learning and Child Care Center. Okay. And these types of of uh, strip designs are common here in Scarborough. F filled with uh, Caribbean and Middle Eastern and uh, Asian cuisine. I think I can see a, a Venice Lawrence Avenue up ahead. And then that'll be Morningside. I'm not sure which side the McDonald's is on. But we're gonna go and see. I don't think cars are allowed in the priority lane. It's just reserved for buses and bicycles.
gonna try and speed walk here. Oh! That cop car just activated its lights. Oh, there's a Caribbean restaurant merchant with a Tim Hortons. Oh, he pulled over that guy! Oh my god! He pulled over that rig. Oh my gosh, I actually saw I actually saw police pull over something for somebody for the first time. But uh, I wasn't really paying attention to what that red guy was doing. Holy shit. He literally pulled him over. Why are you on the sidewalk? <laughs> wow. Literally pulled him over. Haha, <laughs> catch him, officer. There's Poplar Road. Imagine you want to add the U between the P and L. Make it Popular Road, but it's Poplar Road. Ooh, man. And I see the McDonald's up ahead. So should I continue up to Morningside or take Lawrence over to Morningside? I'm not too sure. There's a shawarma place here on the left. And a pizza place. What is this guy doing? He should be right behind the white line. Yeah. We're driving. I shouldn't even be blocking the freaking sidewalk. That's what pisses me off when I'm walking, you know? Okay, I don't know if I feel like going to Morningside anymore. Because I think I'll just... The, the McDonald's is right there. Maybe I'll grab some fries or something and then uh, I'll go home. I haven't had any lunch because of that breakfast I had at Denny's in downtown. Oh, look at this. Look at this outdoor gas station. It looks pretty old school. Look, and there's Krispy Kreme. Always wanted to try Krispy Kreme. <laughs> Always wanted to try that. Anyway, I think I can catch the bus here. Yeah, morning side is off. And this is, I don't think I'll go any further. Now I know where to catch. The bus, this is, an, this is a busy intersection, look. There's so much traffic here. There's a Swiss Chalet, Harvey's, x -Mart. I know there's a Domino's Pizza, a Pizza Pizza, and Pizza Hut. Oh man. Either way, it's relatively close, but I feel like the distance is hella far. There's the bus I wanted to take right after I grab something to eat. Oh wow, there's a lineup here. Line up for Krispy Kreme donuts. Anyway, finally adventured my way out here 
in a 15 minute walk. And I think I'll try and film a bus ride on my way back to uh, Kennedy. That guy almost tried to hit him. What the hell? Anyway. Wish I could explore this, uh, this area. It's quite huge, but uh, I don't got time. But hey. I'm out of here anyways. There's Morningside Avenue. You know what? Maybe I'll uh, finish my ass up there. Or rather, bring it over there. Oh man, smell it, smell the food. Can't wait to have that. Then the kid has a Halloween costume. Don't wanna point it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm gonna grab something to eat from McDonald's and then I'm gonna get going. So here we are at Lawrence Avenue East and Morningside Avenue. Don't mind those kids yelling right behind me, but uh, there we go. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great and safe Halloween wherever you are in the world. That's uh. Yep, made it here. Morning side is residential stuff up here, but it's relatively boring between here and uh, Ellesmere. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.